Hi boys and girls, it's time for some crafts. Now we are going to be making a spider web and also a spider to put on the spider web. For my project, I am using chalk and I'm also going to be using some paint. You can use white crayon, you can use just regular crayon, you could use markers, whatever you like, this is just what I'm choosing to use. So first I'm going to get started with drawing a spider web. I am going to make a big X. Slant right, slant left. Now I'm going to go across and I'm gonna go back up here and go down. So your private speech would go slant right, slant left, across, down. This might be a little tricky, so I am sure moms and dads will be happy to help. This part is also a bit tricky, but I know that you guys are all so smart and always try your best. So let's give it a try. Now I'm going to connect all of these lines by kind of doing a bowl for a mouth. Watch. Bowl. 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 And bowl. Let's take a look at that. Do you see how they kind of look like bowls or smiles that we put on? Yeah. All right. Now, I just have to repeat this. That means I have to do it again. Here I go. Bowl. Bowl. There we go. Got some more. All right, now I'm going to add one more layer of web. So what do I do again? I have to make some more bowls. All right, here we go. Bowl. Bowl. Wow, look at that spider web. Next, what do we have to add? A spider, of course. So, of course, Miss Gertrude has to make her spider a little differently. I'm going to be making a purple spider because I found some purple yarn in my house. So first, I'm going to squeeze the purple paint out onto a regular plate. And I'm also going to add some white to this purple. When you add white to another color, it makes it lighter. So watch. Now it looks like purple and white. But when you mix it together, it's going to make a different lighter color purple. Now it's a nice light purple. I'm going to pick a spot to put the spider. I'm going to close my eyes. We're going to put him right here. Okay. First, I have to draw the head. Now, remember, arachnids, which is what is a spider, has two body parts, their head and their body. So first, I'm going to make its head. It's a smaller circle. So around, close, 
Now I'm going to fill it in. Okay, so there's the spider head. And now I'm going to make the spider body, which is a little bit bigger of a circle. So around close and fill it in. All right, there we go. Now we have the body and the head. Now we have to add what? The legs. You are right. How many legs do spiders have? Hmm, do they have three legs? Five legs? Eight legs, you're right. So I have to cut how many pieces of yarn if I wanna make these the legs? Eight, eight pieces of yarn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have my eight spider legs here. Now I'm going to glue them to the spider body. Now remember, four legs go on each side. So first I'm going to use my glue to make four lines for the yarn. One, two, three, four, So far we have our four legs on one side. Now I have to add four more legs on the other side. Check it out. It's kind of hard to see because it's dark paper. But we have how many legs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight spider legs. Thanks, boys and girls. Now you know how to make a spider web and a spider. Now don't forget, you don't have to make it like I did. You can make it with markers crayons. You can even find some sticks or something outside, leaves. There are so many different ways to make this. But thanks for watching me and helping me out. Have a good day.